Hello guys, welcome back to the Football Network. Today we are continuing on with the Oxford save and we're playing our last group game of the Europa League against Jablonek today. Uh, we'll do a little bit of a catch-up since last time. So we beat uh, Liverpool 1-0. Uh, after the intergame, Thomas Herrera with the winning goal in that game. Then we beat Reading 2-0 in the Capital One Cup, fourth round. Juan Gil getting his first goal for the club at the senior level. And David Fernandez as well getting on the score sheet there. But then we lost 2-1 to Arsenal. Avedaj giving us the lead, but Chamberlain and Gnabry stealing the show for Arsenal. And then we drew 1-1 away against Inter Milan, which wasn't too bad, I guess. Not a bad result. Um... Julian Green getting the equalising goal in that match. And then we drew with Swansea 1-1. Shelby and Zawa getting goals in the last 10 minutes of the game. And then we beat Derby 2-1 at Oxford at, uh, at Stadium MK. Sorry, I must get that right. And then we beat Fenerbahce 1-0 at home. Zawa with a crucial goal in that match. Then we beat Charlton 2-1 as well. Uh, and then Brentford 3-2 in the Capital One Cup quarter-final, which means we are in a semi-final. And I'll just show you that in a sec. And uh, a nil-nil draw against Watford. But here you go. Capital One Cup semi-final. A good chance to win it, really. You look at the teams that are still in it. Watford, Cardiff and Swansea. We can beat all those teams, can't we? And this could be another chance to win some silverware as well at the club. So I think it also means European uh, qualification as well. Europa League. Let's just take a look then. Uh, the final. Here we go. Winner qualifies for the Europa League. So that's good. We probably want to get, get somewhere in that competition and uh, win it to guarantee us a place in the Europa League again. But, of course, we have this big game today, Group E. Um, here we are here. So, basically, a win today would be crucial. Well, we would go through with a win. I think we will go through with a draw as well if uh, Inter and Fenerbahce draw, or if Fenerbahce lose, then a draw is enough. But, basically, if we avoid defeat, and uh, I guess if Fenerbahce lose, then that's okay as well. But... Um, Big game really today, and uh, we're going to try a new tactic as well that I haven't actually created yet, but I will do that live, I guess. Um, but anyway, transfers. Joshua Kimmich is joining the club. We received some more money from the board due to our good financial position, 15 million added to spend, and we're signing Joshua Kimmich, who is a wonder kid, um, I must say. He's on this uh, wonder kid shortlist that I've got from Work the Space, actually, so go check that out. But Anyway, Kimmich joins the club on January the 1st. Central midfielder, defensive midfielder. Um, really good player, I think. He, he's look, he looks good. Um, hasn't had really much of a chance at Bayern Munich. And um, he's going to come in, hopefully do a good job for us. Um, I mean, we have struggled with central midfielders in the past. I mean, John Lundstrom, of course, is our kind of main man. He's the best performer in that position. So, um, Bertolacci... Has been a little bit underwhelming. So too has Cruz. He's been okay. Um, but Bertolacci definitely been a little bit underwhelming. Uh, but we're gonna we're gonna go for so we're gonna go for someone like Kimmich and uh, hopefully he can do a good job for us as well. You can see Draxler there, just in case if um Ravel Morrison leaves us. I mean he's recently signed a new deal. Uh, he's a high stunner at the club and he's got twenty one and a half million pound release clause now. Unfortunately that was locked. We couldn't do anything with that. Newcastle in are interested. If he, if he gets sold, great profit for us. But also we're losing probably our best player, really. Um, and we don't really want to be doing that. So let's go on into the game today. We need to do this new tactic. Because um, I'm not really convinced with how we've been playing recently. So we're going to go for a diamond, I think. Uh, a wide diamond as well. So a little bit crazy, I know. But this is what we're going to go for. Um trialing it see how it goes we're going to put our wingers on support i'll bring david fernandez in because he's a little bit better in that position um and then we'll bring in advertag as well because i really want to play with two strikers you know and um i th i think we could probably get away with something like this uh let's bring um or we'll bring odada into the team today into the well onto the bench anyway but Let's go for something like this. I reckon if we have complete forward there and we play Avidaj as a poacher, that could be okay, you know. So we need to attack, basically, this game. We need to do well. So let's push higher up. Um, I'm going to go two direct. I think that's all we're going to do, actually. I might keep it like that for now. Hmm. Might look for the overlap. I'm not too sure. We'll see how the game goes. But I think we're going to go for something like that today. We'll see how it is. We're going for that 4 one 2 one 2 I guess. Um, never really tried it before. Let's see how it goes. I'm just playing everyone kind of in their natural position, I guess. See how they get on. 
Um, but hopefully, hopefully we can do a job. I don't know how this is going to go, you know. So um, let's try it and let's well, let's hope it will work. So let's get passionate with the boys. I expect nothing but a win from this match. Um, because I haven't actually been that convinced by the way we've been playing recently. Even though we're sixth in the league, I forgot to show you that. We're sixth in the league, joint point, joint on uh, fifth place with uh, Southampton, which is a Europa League spot. Um, that's kind of, I don't know if that's the aim. I think we're, if we do well in the cup again, I mean we've got Capital One Cup. So if we do well in that again, then we get European qualification for the Europa League. So if we can get in there for another season, that would be fantastic. Um, of course, a win here will see us through to the knockout stages. And Fernandez now out on this right hand side goes back to Osorio, back to Fernandez, and we really should be putting this sort of team to bed. And a shot there from Izawa is saved. And uh, Morrison now hits it over. But yeah, we really should be doing a job against Jablonek. We should be getting plenty of goals. They haven't won a single group game. They're on a minus 15 goal difference. They haven't scored a single goal in the group. Um, and Avidaj makes it one there, which is fantastic to see. Hasn't been great for Astonis Hadvadaj, but hopefully him and Iki Nacho can form a good partnership up there. And uh, that is what we need, and that will see us through to the first knockout stage of this competition, which will be fantastic for us as the club. Izawa slips it into Avidaj, and that's a really, really good finish actually from him. And uh, I'm pleased that he's got himself a goal, because he needs that for his confidence. And um, hopefully we can get a few more here tonight. Izawa now on this left-hand side. I want to be convinced. I want to convince him performance with this new formation here. Here's Fernandez Down the line to Wihi Nacho. Can he deliver a ball? He finds his hour actually on this left-hand side. He beats a man and he scores a great goal. What a finish from Hiroshi Izawa. His third goal of the season. And that was a fantastic goal from him. And uh, we're looking good now. We are looking good. Iki Nacho plays the ball back. Izawa just moves it out of his feet. Beats his man. And gets behind that left foot of great power. And beats Lamar. All ends up. Oxford United 2. Jablanek 0. And uh, we are probably going to get a little bit overrun in the midfield. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm curious to see how this formation pans out in the in the Premier League. Um, I reckon it would be quite a good home formation away from home. Not so sure, um, but I want to play with two strikers. I want to attack. I want to score goals. That's what I want to see. Because defensively, I don't know. I don't really think we're that great. Um, I mean, we have got some good centre backs. Herrera and Galloway are, are, have got some good stats, um, but. You know, not not too bad, I guess. We're, I mean, we're in sixth in the league, and we're qualifying for the Europa League, hopefully, anyway. So, uh, for the first knockout round, sorry. So, it, I mean, statistically, we're not doing bad at all. But I just think there could be a little bit more from this team. Maybe I'm just, uh, maybe I'm judging it wrong. But oh dear, that's a goal kick to Oxford United. I thought that was going to be one of those pointless highlights, but we're still going here. And you can see we've had a lot of shots, not so much possession, but I'm not too worried about that as long as we're um, dominating the scoreline. That is all we want to see. And Iki Nacho here in that complete forward position finds Advedad, who's in that poacher sort of uh, territory, um, you know, which probably suits him actually looking at his stats. And here's his hour, Cruz plays it down the line nicely to Morrison. Can he get a good ball in? Can we make it three? Is hour now. He has a shot, it's blocked. Morrison finds his hour again, blocked. And uh, that looks like that's going to be it, unless Cruz can conjure something up here. It's out wide to Osorio. The two Colombians linking up there. Fernandez now, uh, the Portuguese star. I think he's Portuguese, isn't he? I don't know. He changes his haircut every time, though. But uh, that's good. I'm happy with how that's going. Um, I'm not. I'm going to tell the boys don't get complacent, because that could be an issue if we, you know, take a foot off the gas then anything could happen, and especially if Fenerbahce take the lead, because it's still nil-nil there in uh, Italy. I think they're playing in Italy today, Fenerbahce. I think it's a way for them. I don't know. His Cruz, Osorio now into Iki Nacho, plays it back. Fernandez. can he make it three? Yes, he does, and that is looking good for us now, boys. We look like we're going to be going through to the next uh, round of this competition. Pretty good, actually, considering this is our first ever dip into Europe. Um, I'm pretty pleased with how it's gone and we haven't had a ridiculously easy group even though I was expecting us to kind of go through into Milan, Fenerbahce top teams, you know big European names I guess, especially into Milan um, so to do well in this group has been good as uh, 
Pereira heads that away. Morrison now. Out wide to Fernandez. Goes inside. Ihinacho can't quite get on the end of it, but Cruz can find his hour out on this left hand side here. And it's a good ball in. Ihinacho is offside. The ball was in the back of the net. But unfortunately for Ihinacho, he was uh, he just mistimed his run there. But Ihinacho doing well. Two assists. Einvidaj getting the goal as well there. So things are looking good for us here. I'm pleased with how it's going. And um, we think I think I'll make a sub in a sec. I might bring off uh, Felix Cruz for Bertolacci um, as well. I'm not sure if Bertolacci can play DM, so we'll, we shall see when he comes on. See how he does for these, uh, re well, the remaining half hour of this game. As Ortola hits it upfield to Izawa. And he plays a good ball down the line to Avedaj, actually, and that is very nice. And can he actually score? Yes, he can. Oxford United 4, Jablonek 0. This is a fantastic performance from the boys. Let's get some more goals, lads. Come on. I'm pleased with how this is going. Avidaj, good play. Delivers the ball. Ikinachi, does he shoulder that in? I feel as if he does. That's, that is cheeky. That is very cheeky. Let's bring on Bertolacci. He actually cannot play DM. But I'm going to play him there anyway. I may have to retrain him. Because if this formation works in the Premier League, we're keeping, keeping it. Um, uh, let's see here. I think that'll do for now. I might bring on maybe O'Dowd at some point, give him some minutes. Of course, we've got to respect that legend of this save, and Herrera manages to get that one way. Well done. But um, yeah, of course, O'Dowd is a legend of this save. We, we, we've got to keep him in, haven't we? Um, and actually, what I might do, I might play him up front, you know. Let's let's put him up front. I'm going to drop Avidaj back in there, play O'Dowd up top. Go on, son, have a go. See what you got. Might do a good job for us, you never know, he might score. Galloway flicks it on and he very nearly made it 5-0. 5-0 would be good, wouldn't it? That would be the result we need. Izawa is injured. Let's take him off then. Hiroshi Izawa, bring on Julian Green. And uh, maybe a highlight here. Odaldo with the ball, goes back to Avidaj, out wide to Fernandez. He delivers in. Ikinacho, it's a foul, it's a penalty. Oxford United with a chance. Bertolacci on the penalties. I need to change him because even though he's got one of the highest penalty taking stats, he's I think he's missed about three and scored one. And, uh, well, he scores one there, which is fine. And it makes it 5-0 to Oxford United. And uh, there is no doubt that we're going through now. Bertolacci getting a goal. Hopefully he can kick on a little bit here. I'm going to have to retrain him as a DM. He can play attacking midfield, so maybe I I try him there. And Avidad just pulled a hamstring. Oh, my God. All the injuries are queued up this game. Hopefully that's not too bad. Although a hammy is, well, usually a, nearly a month or so, depending on how bad it is, if it's a tear or a, just a strain. We'll, we shall see in a sec. We've had a few casualties in this game uh, with Azar as well picking up one. But we shall see how they are. Hopefully it's not too serious. I mean, we have got players. I mean, Juan Gil may have to get in there in that, in that striker position if this formation works well for us. So uh, we shall see. But here's Dezek, Bessat. And Drulak hits it wide. And that really was kind of the only major shots. And that is it. Oxford United 5, Jablanek 0. We are through to the first knockout stage of the, uh, of the, um, of the what is this, Europa League, isn't it? Great stuff. Fantastic. Um, when is the draw for that? Because we may go and have a look. Three weeks for Avidaj there. And Izawa is out for 12 days to two weeks. So damaged his foot. Hamstring injury as well. We'll send our assistant. We've been given some more money and uh, good stuff there. And let's just take a look here at the calendar. When is the draw? So that is after the Manchester United game. So we won't we won't see the draw. I'll put it on Twitter. Um, and let's think of a game which we can come back for then. So we could actually come back for the Capital One Cup games. Because we haven't actually done too much of the league this season. So... Um, Let's have a look. We could come back for... Hmm. Maybe Newcastle, I think. Newcastle away. Um, I'm not really keen on doing double bills in episodes because of the thumbnail. I like to keep it kind of one team for episodes, as you can see in the thumbnail. So, um, who should we come back for? Possibly Newcastle. I'm just thinking Newcastle because Ravel Morrison might move there. You never know. So, uh, hopefully he doesn't. But I think what we'll do, we'll go Newcastle... 
Um, I'll play the Capital One Cup games off camera because it isn't a major trophy, I guess. And then we'll come back for both legs of the Europa League. I think we'll do that. So, Newcastle and then the Europa League stuff. Okay, cool. We'll do that. And uh, obviously, it's, it'll be January time as well then. So, we'll, we may see some more people come into the club. We're not too sure yet. But thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave a like on the episode if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more. And uh, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.